Hormones are messengers within your body that do a lot of things, one of them being either telling your body to burn fat as fuel or to be storing that energy. So today I'm going to be sharing the seven hormones that can cause you to gain weight in today's video. If you're new here, my name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition and human performance. On my channel, I talk a lot about different tips and strategies you can use to achieve your weight loss and wellness goals. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And today's video is also sponsored by Kettle and Fire. More on them in a bit. Now the first hormone that can cause you to gain weight is cortisol. Cortisol is our stress hormone and consistently high levels of cortisol throughout the day has been linked to weight gain specifically around the belly. But you also don't want cortisol low all the time. You want to have a natural peak of cortisol in the morning. That helps to provide your body energy to get your day started. And then you want it to slowly go down throughout the day. What you don't want is to see it high and then staying high throughout the day. So ways that you can naturally balance your cortisol levels is to first of all, not have caffeine beyond 2 p.m. or 12 p.m. if you're caffeine sensitive. This can cause a little bit of a spike in cortisol when you normally want it to be dipping down. Another strategy is to not eat so much added sugars. Added sugars cause our blood glucose to go up and down rather than staying stable. And when our blood glucose is low, our body really starts to crank up cortisol to help bring that blood glucose back up. So by getting the blood glucose levels more stable, it can help to also balance cortisol. And then another strategy is to use intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting for shorter amounts of time, like 16 hours, has actually been found in some studies to help lower cortisol levels in the evening. Okay, the second hormone that can cause you to gain weight is insulin. And specifically high levels of insulin. Now insulin is our storing hormone and it's primarily released in our body when we eat and specifically mostly released when we eat various carbohydrates. It's also released to a smaller amount with protein intake, but it has zero response with fat. So when insulin is high, the fat burning process called lipolysis is turned off, which means that instead of burning fat, the body is storing fat. Now you need some amount of insulin in order to store food as well, but consistently high levels of insulin causes the body to stay in the state of storage mode rather than ever getting into that state of fat burning. So a few ways to balance out insulin is to first of all, eat less frequently. This is where intermittent fasting can be useful, but even just cutting out snacking is a really useful tool to keeping insulin from spiking throughout the day. And another strategy is to limit the amount of insulin spiking foods. So the most insulin spiking foods are going to be those rich in sugar and starches. And this can be really sneaky, especially with different types of green juices that actually have a lot of fruit sugar within it. Okay, the third hormone is peptide YY. Now specifically, low levels of peptide YY can cause issues with weight gain. Peptide YY is one of our satiety signals. So it helps us to feel full and satisfied so that you don't end up snacking. Peptide YY is mostly released when we eat protein and low levels of peptide YY have been associated with increased body fat percentage. The two main ways that you can help to increase peptide YY is first of all, eating more protein and especially from complete sources. These include fish, beef, chicken, eggs, Greek yogurt, tempeh. And if you really struggle with satiety, you can also pair protein with collagen. When you combine protein with collagen, it has been found to be more satiating than just the protein alone. And you can use whole food sources of collagen like bone broth, which is where today's sponsor Kettle and Fire can be really useful. Kettle and Fire is a really great bone broth company. They slowly simmer the beef bones they use for 20 hours, which is important for pulling out as much collagen as possible. And because it is a whole food source of collagen, it's really easy to use in a lot of your dishes. You can use Kettle and Fire bone broth as the base to your soups or your stews or your chilies. Kettle and Fire comes in a lot of different flavors, so you can really mix and match them to fit whatever flavor profile you're looking at for that meal. I personally use their chipotle chili option a lot when I'm making different chili recipes. Not only does it add a really significant source of collagen to help keep me more satiated, but it also adds a nice little chili flavor as well. And Kettle and Fire is offering you guys 20% off when you use code AutumnBates at checkout. And you don't have to test out the chipotle chili, but I would recommend you do. <laughs> But just make sure that you get 20% off and use that code link down description below. Now on that same note, the fourth hormone that causes you to gain weight is ghrelin. Ghrelin is our hunger hormone. Now the way I always remember this in school is that ghrelin sounds like grr, like your stomach growling. <laughs> So ghrelin makes you hungry. And when you're particularly hungry, your body's looking for a fast energy source, which is going to be those more sugary or starchy foods that work against your weight loss goals. Plus, no one likes feeling hungry. So you can help to reduce the hunger hormone ghrelin by first of all, eating more protein, but also pairing protein with fat. Both fat and protein help to increase various satiety hormones and therefore help to suppress the hunger hormone ghrelin. And great sources of fat include things like avocado, olives, nuts, seeds, grass-fed butter, or even cheese, which has a combination of both protein and fat. Okay, the fifth hormone that can cause you to gain weight is thyroid. Now this is a hormone that gets a lot of attention and it does aid in growth and various metabolic processes. And there are conditions like hypothyroid 
hypothyroidism where the thyroid level is low and that can cause decreased energy levels and increased weight gain. But there are a couple ways that you can help to improve thyroid function. First of all, by making sure you get enough iodine. So you can take an iodine supplement or just eat iodine rich foods, like a lot of seafood products or even dairy. And if you have a thyroid specific disease like Hashimoto's, then you may even benefit from completely cutting out all gluten sources. So the obvious offenders like bread and pasta. Okay, the sixth hormone that can cause you to gain weight is melatonin and specifically low levels of melatonin. Melatonin is our sleep hormone and it can help us to get high quality deep sleep. On the flip side, after just one night of poor quality sleep, it can cause increased levels of cortisol, which remembers that stress hormone and increased levels of ghrelin, the hunger hormone the very next day, making it even harder to achieve your weight loss goal. So it's really important to make sure that you're getting enough melatonin that's secreted at night. A couple ways that you can do this is by making sure that you sleep in a completely dark room. Darkness is what helps our body to secrete the hormone melatonin. So also by not exposing your eyes to extremely bright lights, like with your phone or laptop or TV right before bed can help melatonin to naturally go up. I like to call this the no tech time. This is what my brother calls it for his kids. So I kind of just picked it up for the community because I thought it was a good saying. <laughs> but implementing that no tech time 60 minutes before bed can help your body to naturally start to ramp up melatonin production. Okay, the seventh hormone that can cause you to gain weight is growth hormone and specifically low levels of growth hormone. Growth hormone helps our body to burn fat as fuel while also protecting our muscles from breaking down. And there's been studies showing that those who have low levels of growth hormone tend to have increased risk of obesity. And it seems to directly affect what's called visceral fat or belly fat. Now, one of the easiest ways to naturally increase growth hormone is to use some form of fasting. Being in a fasted state helps the body to naturally increase growth hormone. So if you are using intermittent fasting to see these various benefits, but you're wondering how long it takes to actually see results, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.